like center roof. Come on, Sid. Come on, Sid. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, head coach Scott Ruick, Ruth Hamblin, Sydney Weeks. We'll just start opening up the questions. Scott, um, if you wrote an Oregon State scouting report, what would you have said about Ruth coming into this game? Right off the bat. Next question. No. Um, well, you got to move her. You got to move her away from the basket. You know, uh, you got to box her out. You can't let her anywhere near the rim. Well, I think it, combination, you know, I think she fits well against the system. Um, I also think that she played a great game today. Uh, defensively, she's playing against, you know, an elite scorer, an elite athlete. Um, and I thought Ruth held her own today in that matchup. Uh, Jillian is going to score. Uh, Ruth made her work for those points. Um, she challenged shots, she changed shots, and then she did a great job on the boards for us, which was as important as anything. Did you expect to get the ball that much, Ruth, long and prep for it? Well, it's definitely a way we worked on in practice because we knew that they were playing up, so it's going to be an option for us to get there. Yeah. How big is her growth thing, Scott? Over just over the past few games, I mean, she played great against Notre Dame yeah. tonight. Uh, Scott. Yeah, we've seen a lot of growth from the beginning. Well, right about Christmas, when we came back from the break, there was a different mentality. I think uh, we saw glimpses against Clemson in, in the Las Vegas tournament of what Ruth could do. We simplified the game for a little bit which I think helped. And then, you know, it's just when somebody has a work ethic that is uh, as at the highest level, like Ruth does, they want it that bad and they work that hard. It's just inevitable. So it's just when. Um, and I think she's finding her niche, you know, at this level now uh, on both ends of the floor. Uh, I think definitely like Notre Dame coming in, I just realized like how big time this opportunity is every game, every night on the floor, and I just want to be able to fully take advantage of each night. Sydney, how big was Ruth tonight for you guys? Huge. She definitely impacted the game, and uh, you know, she's so close to the rim every every shot, so it just put it up there, and she did that, and uh, you know, very thankful that she had a big game, and uh, looking forward to Monday again, and Oregon did a great job defending us, um, and they they fought really hard. Uh, but I know coming into Monday's game, it's going to be another battle, so we're going to be ready for them. Big time three pointer from Ali, who hadn't been hitting earlier. Is that just a veteran stepping up when she needs to? Well, you've been watching Ali, you know, for a couple of years. She's a gamer. Um, she's hit big shots. That's just what she does. She lives for those moments, you know, and. Um, you know, I challenged her at halftime. You know, I didn't like all the zeros along her line at halftime and said, let's go. You know, we need some produ production from, from her. You know, and she's out there with Sid and Jamie, you know, two of the best three-point shooters in the country. And, you know, it it's maybe messes with you a little bit knowing that maybe I should be deferring. They're, they have a higher percentage than me, uh, and that's not the case. We need production from her. And, and uh, you know, so it didn't surprise me a bit. Uh, it was a big shot. Um, and so that's, that's just what Allie does. Sydney, I know you had shooting. I mean, first half you sort of you had a couple and seemed to warm up a little bit, and then kind of went from there. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's pretty tough to defend Jamie and myself because if you take away one of us, then the other's going to shoot. Or if you take away both of us, we have Ruth down low. Uh, we have a lot of options on offense, and uh, it's pretty tough to stop all five. Scott, you want to talk about that? The uh, outside shooting complemented Ruth's game inside perfectly. Yeah, that's. It's hard to guard, you know, and, and when the five's going inside and that's by design, that's um, what I've done my entire career is put shooters around posts. And, and you know, we're, we're getting there. It's been, this is such a young team where we're figuring out um, just the best ways to do that. You know, and today we had that going. Um, Sid and Jamie are, as, I, I mean, they're elite, uh, the way they shoot the ball. And, and fortunately we found them and I thought we passed the ball very well tonight. At times it seemed like they had things working as well, or did. Kind of adjustments do you kind of see maybe at a full court press maybe on Monday? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. It, it, it's the system. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what they'll do. Uh, we'll adapt as it goes. And, um, you know, I just know they, they want you to go fast. You know, and I thought we did a great job uh, for most of the game in controlling tempo. Um, you know, we broke the press, but we didn't force things. Uh, it was evident in the first half that we tried a few times and we got out of character. 
Um, you know, and that's when they made their runs at us. Second half, I thought we controlled things with that exception of that little two minute spurt, you know, about 16 minutes in or was six minutes, 16 to go anyway in the first half. And so I don't exactly know uh, if they'll go more man. I don't know. What do you guys think you improved on before Monday? Uh, taking care of the basketball, you know, uh, we don't want to count on having to make 12 threes, you know, uh, to win Monday. Uh, 20 turnovers is too many, even against the press that they use. And, you know, I, that decreased, of course, as the game went. Uh, but, but that number needs to be lower for us to uh, give ourselves a great shot again Monday. Uh, there were 15 lead changes, seven ties. Were the three of you aware like, what a great game it was when it was happening? Or were you just trying to think about what you need to do to win? Uh, we were just trying to win. I. I would look for the score and I didn't know where to find it. So I just kept playing basketball because I couldn't find the score. Hmm. So we just had fun. What about you, Scott? No, I knew. I knew I, it was just a game of runs. And, and it was, you know, it, there was there were a lot of, there was frustration in this game because it felt like we could keep doing what we're doing, you know, and moving the ball and finding shots. And then we'd, we'd relax. And that's what, that's what Oregon does so well. They, they don't go anywhere. And we knew that. We talked about it. You know, this team didn't go away the other day at Cal when they had every opportunity to and found a way to get to overtime and had a chance to win that game. Um, so they certainly weren't going away today. You know, and every time we blinked, they took advantage. And uh, that, that's, it's a good team that we just beat. Um, at the end of the game, you guys seem to have pretty good composure uh, managing the clock. Um, and you guys are a young team, so how do you, are you proud of them for how they managed Oh, man. That? Really proud. Yeah, really proud. That's been something, you know, if you've been watching us, that's been – uh, what has cost us a few times is uh, going away from our game plan when the heat gets turned up, you know, and it gets cranked up towards the end. We've made mistakes. Today we didn't. I thought uh, we did a great job handling the press, finding shooters, hanging on to the ball, being strong with it. All the turnovers we had in the first half where the ball seemed to be popping loose from everybody, you know, every other second, that went away in the second half. Um, I thought we grew up through this game, you know, and then um, we made free throws down the stretch for the most part and closed it and got the, got the stops we needed as well. And so couldn't be prouder. Sydney, what's it mean for this program for winning the Civil War six straight times? Uh, it's, it's definitely something to be proud of. Uh, the work's not done yet. We have to face them again in 48 hours, so we're going to keep preparing. And uh, they're a great team. They fought really hard, and they answered every time that we tried to go on a run. Um, so we're looking forward to playing them again on Monday. Coach? No. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't get into that stuff too much. You can't worry about it. You just control what you control. You know, and we talked before the game, and Stanford's beaten us 27 times or something like that, and they came out like they wanted to just rip our throat out. You know, I mean, they came out on fire the other day. They didn't care about that, and we can't either. Uh, the next game's Monday. Uh, if it's seven, that means we played well, you know, and so we got to worry about the next possession. Everyone good? All right. Thanks, everybody.